great and I love making stuff for my family. So today we're going to make this bag here which has a lot of texture and is perfect for scrap fabric. So if you want to learn how to make the dice, please continue watching. For this project, you will need fabric, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. For this project, you will need six squares of, of equal size. It could be any square. Um, in my case, they were 10 centimeters each and about one centimeter of seam allowance. So 12 centimeters total. First of all, you will need to sew a straight line of to the squares right sides facing in. Then you will repeat the same for three other squares and it should give you a straight line of four squares as shown here. So when a last straight line to assemble the four squares. Once you're done assembling your four squares, you'll take the fifth square and put it on the top and sew around like this. Do the same for the last square, however, make sure to leave a gap um, so that you can put in the stuffing. In order for you to change from one square to another, what I did was once I'm done with the first square, I pivoted my needle so that it would stay in the sewing machine and then I would lift up the footer and um, rotate my uh, project 90 degrees and then put my footer down and continue sewing again until I'm done with all four squares. Once you're done with that, repeat the same for the last square but leave an opening so that you can flip your project inside out. Now that you're done, fill uh, the inside of your cube with some stuffing. I've used a cotton stuffing but you can also use some scrap fabric if you have any leftovers. All you have left to do now is close the gap by hand sewing everything and you're done. Here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see other videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>